I'm so pleased to be here with Margaret Downing uh, to speak to you about the harmful and dangerous discrimination policies of the Boy Scouts of America. You may just now be learning that the membership policies of the Boy Scouts of America exclude atheists and gays, but the problem started long ago. That's right. The first religious discrimination case was recorded in 1985, and that situation involved Paul Trout, a Unitarian who was denied his Eagle Badge when he admitted that he did not believe in a God. And the Boy Scouts continue to discriminate against Unitarians, non-theists, and gays to this day. I recently learned the details of the Unitarian case and many other similar situations from Margaret. As she stated earlier, her, at her own son was thrown out of the scouting program when he was only 14 years old. And I was outraged that the Boy Scouts of America had recruited my son through a public school. And suddenly, after seven years of active and honorable involvement with the scouting program, my son was no longer welcomed due to religious bigotry. Ousting someone from the Boy Scouts program actually goes against all the tenets I learned as a scout. It certainly isn't brave to fear another person's religious opinions. And it isn't courageous for the Boy Scouts to segregate from people who think differently. It isn't honest to say that the Boy Scouts of America are a private organization, yet continue to use taxpayer dollars to fund their activities. And due to their discriminatory membership policies, the Boy Scouts of America must not be allowed to recruit in our public school system. That's right. If they want religious members, let them recruit in private religious schools. There are many fine young men who have been denied membership to the Boy Scouts of America based on biased membership policies. As I said in my video, Eagle Scouts who go on to serve in the military make higher pay. It should be illegal for the government to pay those who do not believe in God less than those who do. So please, yeah. so please help us convince the world's largest youth group to stop discriminating. And if they refuse to change their bigoted stance, let's stop the Boy Scouts from America, of America from recruiting in public schools, and let's stop them from using taxpayer dollars to fund their activities. And treat everyone with respect, dignity, and honor in the spirit of brotherhood. The Boy Scouts Congressional Co Charter was not given to them to be a religious group. They were granted that charter only to teach about scout crafting. The Congressional Charter allows the Boy Scouts to receive all types of gratuities and benefits from the government, including the ability to obtain free surplus ammunition and camping gear through the United States military. According to government records, the 2010 Boy Scout Jamboree cost the United States taxpayers over seven million dollars. Also in 2008, Congress approved the distribution, distribution of the Boy Scout commemorative coin, which gave the Boy Scouts of America 3.5 million dollars guaranteed. And clearly, this proves that public funds are being used to advance, support, and endorse a private religious organization. If you are an Eagle Scout and you want your voice heard, you can return your Eagle Badge to the Boy Scouts National Office saying that the biased membership policy is shameful. If you choose to take us up on that, please remember to send a copy of your protest letter to Scouting for All so that your position on the matter is documented. And hey, if they finally do change the policy, you can get your badge back. Um, not only am I concerned about discrimination within the scouting program, I'm also collecting narratives from non-theists who have experienced discrimination in their own lives daily. If you've experienced any type of discrimination due to your non-theist views, please contact the Anti-Discrimination Support Network and we will add your narrative to our database. Thanks for listening to our concerns. If you have any questions, you can reach us in the hospitality tent and we'll be happy to answer them. And thank you 